Hi, welcome back to Thomas Terra Fishing Antiques. Got a bit of a story for you today, as well as to show some tackle. Uh, a few weeks ago, we had a call from um, what I thought was a Frenchman talking about some fishing tackle that he's looking to sell. And through a, a FaceTime video, I was showing the bits and pieces of tackle that that almost made me ill. So the gentleman said, when well, I'm coming over to the uh, Cotswolds next week, would you like to come down and look at the tackle? I said, yep, that'll be great. So, end of story. A week later, gets a phone call. Get the location, turn up at this beautiful 15th century manor house, thinking this is nice. Open the door, meet the gentleman, lovely. So we go inside and look at the tackle, and as I'm browsing around, there are various pieces with this red and white emblem on them, occasionally with an A, maybe Alex or Andrew or something. So I check through various reels, pick up one reel, and on the back of it, on the back plate, is engraved HRH Prince Axel Denmark. I thought, well, that's nice. So I say as a bit of a throwaway line, the gentleman, I said, is this your dad? No, he says, it's my granddad. I said, oh. I said, your grandfather is Prince Axel. Yes. So you're a prince. Yes. I said, we never mentioned that. Well, we don't in Europe. It's a very British thing to talk about um, uh, heraldry, but we don't mention it in Europe. So I'm standing there in the room with this gentleman and his wife, the uh, relations of uh, Prince Axel and we go through the fishing tackle although that in itself is a bit of an event which was great the tackle is unusual the vast majority of it had what I thought was just an emblem a logo this is the Danish representation of the Danish flag A is for Axel uh, big fisherman um, but because of I suppose his status or the wealth or whatever it was he was an, he it would enable him to ask for some special order pieces Whilst this isn't special order, it's just worth looking at. This is a cantilever fly reservoir box. Just look at that, it's absolutely stunning with these original flies in it. Um, this cantilever's out three times. It's, it's a bit sticky because it's not been opened or closed for many years. But what a great looking display piece for any tackle room to have this. It's not a lot of money in my opinion for what you get for it. Along with everything else, we have the fairly standard Hardy Perfect reel. Most of the people who salmon fished would have had these. These are the reference tags because they're actually online at the moment. So this is a handful. This is a handful of a Hardy Perfect with a revolving uh, line guide. It's in beautiful condition. Oh, just amazing rail. They called it the Hardy Perfect because Hardy's considered it perfect. So, good name. Uh, this has a revolving line guide in it, which means there's no wear in the pillars. So you can probably fish this your entire life and the next one and the next one, which has happened. It's down through three generations and it's still absolutely lovely. In its leather case, each reel was marked on the side uh, with a number to suit the reel itself within. However, the interesting one is this. This is a farmer's reel. And I thought when I opened it, oh, big salmon reel. But it's not. Ta -da! It's a case which is fitted out especially for the farmer reel and fitted to take the spare spool. I think I've only ever seen two of these and three of these in 30 years. It's rare, as rare, as rare. Okay, it's not a hardy in that we say it's not £800 because it's a hardy. But the case is worth a chunk because it's a rare thing. But it comes with its original reels and spare spools. And the reel has a red agate line guide. So it's a lovely, lovely piece. This has an adjustable uh, brake system on the back of it. All of this is very fishable. It has a nice connection. Um, to the Danish royal family on it. We've sold some of the pieces immediately, including the piece with uh, the HRH inscription on the back. That went and uh, gone back to Denmark, as all the other pieces have. So isn't that nice? From 1909 or thereabouts, um, the stuff goes back to its, its home base. And uh, just nice to get uh, a contact in the royal division of the Danish household. It comes back to England, it gets sold, and it goes back to Denmark where it belongs. So, lovely story. I think I've done okay with that one as well. So another Jelly Babies down the hatch. See you next time.